Okay, so today we're we'll taking a look at what's in the box. We got the Raspberry Pi starter kit, the official starter kit. Opening this bad boy up, we have our Raspberry Pi 3 in the official case. The raspberry color and the white. Kind of like it. They also have a black and gray, but this kit comes with this one. This is the first version. You get the little rubber, rubber feet. Nice. Going even further, opening her up. Pulling all this out, we got our official power supply. It's gonna come with multiple connections for different regions of the world. You get your Raspberry logo, the official power supply. Looking neat. And then over on this side, we will have an HDMI cable. Nice. And then we got our mouse. The Raspberry logo on there as well. Everything's sticking to that, that color theme of white with raspberries, so everything here is uh, a matching setup, I would say. And closing this bad boy up. And then we also do have a preloaded 8 gigabyte card. It's a sand disk, kind of hard to see. But comes with that. Preloaded with the operating system. We'll take a dive into that in a moment. And underneath all of that wonderful stuff, we do have a nice little keyboard fitting with the, th the white theme. We have the Raspberry logo once again. Really nice feeling, good quality. And then underneath all that, we do get this nice project book, Adventures in Raspberry Pi Foundation Edition. Nine awesome projects, written especially for young people. But I've gone through this book. Quite a bit of cool information and projects to work on. You can do this with your kids or yourself. You definitely learn something with this. It's a well-written book. Real nifty. A lot of cool little projects in there. It's a nice addition to this kit. So putting her all back in there. Closing her up for no reason because I'm just gonna unpack her, plug her in, and we're gonna test her out, see what to do. So let's go ahead and dive right on into that. Okay, so once you're booted up and you have put in your Wi-Fi credentials or hooked up through Ethernet, these are the options you'll get. And they're giving you different uh, operating systems or packages you can install. So we're going to go ahead and go with Raspbian with Pixel. So let's get this party started. Okay, so while we're letting this bad boy install, extract, do whatever crazy nonsense it's doing, I just wanted to point something out. Um, so this kit, you know, it's available in a lot of places. I believe it came out in September. And it was pretty much to kind of, in a way, celebrate... 10 million Pi 3s being sold. Um, so Raspberry Pi, you know, the foundation and whatnot, they wanted to put out this special kit, starter kit with all their own goodies. You know, so many other companies are making their own bundles. So they wanted to do their own kit. And I thought it was pretty awesome. Typically, the price should be around $100. When it first came out, I couldn't find one for $100 or anywhere near that mark. I was willing to pay a little extra just because I thought it was so special and I wanted it. But most places were looking for around $200, sometimes around $150. But the prices have continually dropped to get back down to that $100 or so price range. So I did get my kit because I couldn't find it available in the U.S. anywhere. So the best place that I could find it was Canakit, and they are in Canada. Um, they shipped from Canada. They got these kits from um, the, the distributor RS. And with that said, I had one issue when I first got the box. 
The box had some security tags on it, a bunch of stickers on the sides that really ruined the box. And it kind of annoyed me a little bit, but I cooled off. I chilled out. I let it stop bothering me. Um, I asked Kanakit, hey, what was up with this? There was multiple, like, multiple clear seals and then the RS distributor seal on there and then a bunch of seals over top of that. And it was just sloppy and it screwed up the box. Um, the RS seals, they, they had like a security thing on them. They were all cut open. And then there was the, the clear seals put over it. Um, my question was, I know these kits didn't have seals on them. Um, but if RS, the distributor, were sealing them themselves with their own security seals, okay, that's one thing. But why were the seals cut and why were there multiple cover-ups on that? So that kind of frustrated me a little bit, but I figured, you know what? The product still looks legit, clean. Everything's nice and neat. I'm not going to trip too much on the box, even though I wanted the box to be in as pristine condition as possible. And it, it, it's all right, but it just, you know, that bothered me. Was this a new item? Was this used? Was it resealed? What, what's, what's going on here? So I reached out to Canakit and they gave me a very vague response. I have it up. It, it just, it, you know, they just explained, well, hey, the rest of our kits don't have stickers because, or don't have seals, so this problem will not occur in the future. We do apologize for any confusion, but may be assured that it's a brand new product. So they're saying I got like the only one that they had that had all this funky seals on it, I guess. And the rest of them that they have are the ones that were how they were shipped, which had no seals on them. Whatever. I, you know, I'm not tripping anymore. It's fine. That part's done and over with. My frustration now comes into the fact that you see I'm getting ready to use this or I have used it, but I'm not using the mouse that came with it. Now I've been flipping out over this stupid mouse that I really wanted. You know, it's an infrared mouse that doesn't have a roll ball. It's a decent quality mouse, you know, nothing special. You know, it's not like my Razer Naga or anything like that, you know, but it's a decent little ergonomic mouse that should work fine. Well, having this plugged into the Pi 3, um, I thought maybe there was something going on with the, uh, with noobs at first because my mouse wouldn't work and my keyboard wouldn't work. So I say, what's going on? I should be getting power through the USB. This isn't crazy. So I started just trying to troubleshoot, you know, and make a long story short, plugged in, you know, an externally powered USB hub, still didn't work, plugged in, you know, I didn't know which, which it was because the keyboard wasn't working and the mouse wasn't working. So initially I was just unplugging the keyboard and then plugging in another mouse with this mouse still attached. This mouse wouldn't work. My razor wouldn't work. Nothing that I plugged into a Pi would work. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And all the while, I had still had this, this bad boy, this, this bad boy plugged into the system. So I thought, well, wait a minute. Let me unplug that. So I unplug that mouse. Everything magically works. So next thing... So I'm like, what, what's going on here? Why would this mouse be killing my USB or my USB ports? So I plug it into my laptop. My laptop instantly freezes. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Laptop, laptop stops working. I have to reboot, unplug the damn mouse, plug it into my PC, that's my desktop that's sitting next to me. My PC just... Next thing, I, I don't know what the heck happened. I get a warning, boom, USB power fluctuation, uh, 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 system crashes, reboots. Now my USB ports are dead <laughs> on the front of my PC. So a little bit of frustration there, quite a bit of frustration. I'm, I'm really pissed right now that this thing right here, I should have just gave up on when it just didn't work on the Pi. But I had to take, take it and plug it into my PC, and now my, my USB ports don't work anymore. I mean, I have uh, four other USB ports on the back of my PC, but I have two USB ports on the front, and they are dead now. I, you know, I'll try to figure out what's wrong with them, but as far as the recording of this video, the USB ports on the front of my PC no longer work. After this thing, destroyed them somehow. So I reached out to Kanakit waiting to see what they have to say if they can replace this i don't know 
you, you know, I know, you know, that, that, uh, you know, Raspberry Pi didn't make these, these, you know, mice, their logos on there. I don't know who's the original manufacturer of these, you know, they're decent quality, you know, at least they seem like they're decent quality mice, but they killed my, my USB ports and it won't work on the Pi. So enough rambling. Let's just get onto this, this OS since she is finally installed and take a look. Okay, so now that we're on our desktop, let's take a look at some stuff. Now, I'm not completely familiar, you know, using these uh, operating systems. I've used, you know, several versions of Linux in the past, but not my everyday <coughs> operating system that I use. But just quickly going through this bad boy, we have a few things. I'm not 100% what these two are but we do have our terminal. We can go into our terminal. We've got our file manager. We have our Chromium web browser. And then we can take a look at our other applications. So we have some programming stuff, you know, with Python and whatnot. Um, looks like Mathematica and Wolfram have something to do with that. And then we do have our office, our LibreOffice. So base is going to be databases you know these are all like the equivalent of uh, Microsoft Office perform calculations so this would be like Excel office draw so you know making charts drawings logos office impress create and edit presentations nice math so we got like you know some kind of scientific calculator and then Writer, which is going to be like Word. And like I said, we do have our Chromium web browser. We have an email client, Raspberry Pi resources, the Magpi VNC viewer, connect to computers running that server. Games, we have Minecraft Pi. I don't even know how to play Minecraft, so I'm not even going to bother. We have some Python games. It's a bunch of little examples of games. I've messed with this in the past. You have like little clones of stuff like Tetris and Connect 4. Moving forward, we do have our accessories archiver, create and access archive files. It'd be like a, a compressor, I believe. A little calculator, file manager, image viewer, PDF viewer, SD card copy, make a copy of the Raspbian SD card, or task manager, another uh, shortcut to the terminal, and then a little text editor, simple text, a little help resources, preferences, add remove stuff. Appearance settings, audio settings, all that good stuff, your your uh, devices and whatnot. Run and shut down. So like command prompt and then shut down your system. So let's take a gander real quick at our web browser. Open that bad boy up. Let's take a look and see how YouTube performs on this guy. See what to do with that. Let's see, let's search for a uh, search for our buddy Drew Talks. Oops. Drew Tax. Drew Talks. I think everything's running fairly smooth on this bad boy. Take a look. See what we got. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be adding some additional things to that this pixels hyper high image, 128 gigabyte image, lovely image. Some of you want there to you go. Let's check out Drew Talks. See what he's got it going on. Look like this. We're going to yeah, that, that loaded up pretty well. Pretty, pretty quick. Artwork. We can get nice little, uh, you know, browser. So, with that said, um, would I recommend this kit? With the troubles that I had with the mouse blowing up my computer, heck no. For a hundred bucks, you know, I wasn't too concerned about the money. I thought, hey, you know what? It's it's all branded by Raspberry Pi. It all looks really neat. It's a nice little setup. 
you know, $100 for a complete computer. Plug that bad boy into a monitor. Good to go. You have everything you could possibly want for basic computing stuff. You know, you're not going to be doing anything crazy with this. This is definitely a good setup for kids or, you know, even adults. doesn't matter. But, you know, for a low-cost option to have a desktop, you know, to have a computer with a desktop that you can browse the Internet and do little things you could do, definitely a good you know, thing for kids or maybe you have a, you know, parents who are a little older who aren't, you know, too tech savvy that, you know, you want to communicate with them through email and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. This is perfect, you know, for a hundred dollars, great deal. But if you don't care about the branding, the Raspberry Pi logos, you can get yourself a kit, you know, with everything you need besides the keyboard and mouse for, you know, 40 to 50 bucks or so, you know, a little eight gigabyte card to run, you know, Raspbian off of, you know, that's not going to cost much, a few bucks to get a nice little keyboard and mouse. Most people have, you know, extras lying around and whatnot, but you can definitely get similar types or even better, you know, quality than this mouse that won't blow up your computer. You know, find a, a decent mouse for five bucks, keyboard five, ten bucks, you know, say anywhere between ten to twenty dollars for a keyboard and mouse combo. No big deal. So you're sitting on, you know, instead of getting this kit, you're sitting on about, you know, sixty, seventy dollars or so to have a nice little computer. If you're not in the retro pie and all the old school games, you just want to have a little desktop to fool around with. 60 70 bucks you're in it to win it so with that said i need to cool off a little bit because this mouse is really pissing me off man unbelievable but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there hope you guys appreciate the review the unboxing the rant sorry it took so long but hey i had to vent off of this because it really frustrated me catch you guys on the next one